appeal. You talk about them getting a couple of really good signings. What about yourself? What about Glenn Torn? Tell me about the signings, <coughs> the players coming in. And also tell us about the very latest news. What's the possibility of some of your star players even moving out? Yeah, we've, we've brought in uh, young Christian Gibson from Rangers, um, Mr. Band boy. And he's, he's settled in well. Um, young lad. Um, maybe he could be doing with that wee bit more of experience from our point of view in, in bringing him in. But, uh, you know, he's, he's another one for the future. Uh, we've brought in young Conor McManaman from, from Linfield. Um, goal scorer uh, has proved it with uh, uh, the Linfield Swifts team. Um, scored a lot of goals. But um, on, the, on the other side of that, there are, we've, we've had a, an offer from Barnsley for, for young Jordan Stewart. And the club, the club will obviously um, has to weigh up what we value the, the, the guy at. And uh, Barnsley's uh, offer has been way below our valuation. At the same time, we want to do what's right for Jordan. We want to see Jordan test himself at the highest level. He's proved for me over the course of the last couple of seasons that he can do it within the Irish League. And that the only sort of uh, course of action after that for Jordan to prove himself is the next level up, and that's possibly going across to England. Um, but the two clubs have to come to an agreement uh, on, on what's a, a fair valuation uh, for Jordan, um, and there's no way we would want him to go across in the cheap. But as I say, there's a balance there to be met, and, and hopefully both clubs can strike that. But uh, that's always been your way. You have never wanted to stop a young lad to try and improve or progress. And if you can work out an agreement, he would leave, uh, let's say, if Barnsley do come on with a proper offer, he would leave almost with your blessing and uh, best wishes from the club because he's been a shining jewel, hasn't he, in the Irish League, not just for Glen Torn. Absolutely. I think uh, and, you, know, you look at Jordan's performances. Um, OK, the first season, we bit hit and miss and scored some wonderful goals. Last season, he, you know, he... he you know, 19 years of age and, and putting in the performances on a regular basis that he did. You know, you've got that sort of second season syndrome that people talk about. Flashing the pan the first season, second season comes about and uh, people start to mark him out of the game. Jordan stood up to that this season and, and put in some very, very credible performances, scored some really, really good goals, kept us in the top, helped keep us in the top six and, and got us our, our uh, help us uh, along the line with the Irish Cup and qualification for Europe. So he's done his bit for Glen Torn, he's, uh, you know, and, and now, uh, as I've said to him all along, with the signing of his extension to his contract, uh, we as a club will do utmost, our utmost to help him try and uh, fulfil his ambition of going across the water. Um, we're in the process of doing that at the moment. It's, we're now waiting on can both clubs, you know, come to some agreement on, on that move. You're talking about him uh, doing very well for Glen Torn. You haven't done too bad yourself, to be fair, listen, <laughs> because you, you've managed uh, the difficulties off the park, the well-known and well-documented financial issues, which hopefully, uh, when you think about it, you're no longer in the headlines for that, so obviously things are beginning to even itself out. And then you achieve again. You must be delighted the way, you know, w w with what you've done yourself at the Oval. I think the second one, Rogie, was um, the, the big achievement you know, against Portadown. Um, we who had totally changed from the last cup final. We lost a lot of it, uh, a lot of experience in your Waterworths, your Wards, your Nixons, um, the Callaghers of this world, uh, and, and they moved on. And we had to go through a rebuilding process. And it wasn't a case of, of having the money to bring play people in. We, we promoted from within. Um, we took um, young players who weren't making it at other clubs and brought them in and banged into our style and our system of play. And, and they deserve the credit for that because they worked hard in, in doing everything that the coaches had asked them to do over the course of you know, the pre-season and, and last season as a whole. And, and I have to say, you know, we did, we did achieve a bit of luck in, in the cup final, but to win anything in this game, um, you need a bit of luck. And for me, um, that bit of luck was a long, long time coming for Glen Torn. You know, years had passed where we were, you know, it was well documented about wages not being paid, we had difficulties with this and difficulties with that. And, and I think a lot of credit has to go, not only for the coaching staff, <coughs> excuse me, uh, coaching staff at the club, but what the board have been doing as well to try and get the club on a, a, a steady footing. And um, I think we've all done our bit over the course of the last season with the qualification for Europe and that money being utilised in a way where it does steady the club. And also some of that money has filtered down for new players as well. And we've been able to <coughs> add a couple to it. And young Gibson, <coughs> excuse me, and young Gibson and young McManaman. And, uh, Hopefully there, there's still an opportunity there to maybe before the end of August bring another one or two in.